What's up, peers, and welcome to Bitcoin to the Max here on the World Crypto Network. And today we're going to start a new show about the Lightning Network and why it is so interesting and so exciting. Well, why do we need it, first and foremost? Well, right when you have a Bitcoin blockchain transaction, a first layer, a base layer transaction, what happens is that everyone who's running a Bitcoin full node is going to verify if this transaction is correct. And of course, this is extremely secure and especially important when we are looking at something like inflation, for example. Everyone needs to know how much money is there in existence. And that is possible on the blockchain. Very, very simple. But that makes it very inefficient because the same verification calculations have to be done over and over and over again by everyone who is running a full node and for every transaction that has ever happened. And that just as a concept is really difficult to scale. Uh, and with all the other incredible complex things here happening on the cryptographical and technical limitations uh, that we have. Okay? So we need to find a way to scaling Bitcoin in such a manner that not everyone needs to care about every single transaction that has happened. Well, and there are different options of doing this, uh, but most uh, is going to be called a second layer solution. And the Lightning Network is one of possibly many of these second layer solutions that can work to scale Bitcoin on a higher level than just the blockchain itself. So the Lightning Network is not the blockchain, but the Lightning Network is still Bitcoin. It is the same. The Lightning Network uses the blockchain just in a very smart way in a way that is very efficient and that limits or minimizes the on-chain usage and increases though the number of transactions possible. So the Lightning Network is therefore here a scaling solution. And what does that give us? Well, first, it is much more, uh, let's say, peer-to-peer. -peer. Uh, if I send a Lightning Network transaction uh, to Bob, well, then I do not need to tell everyone else other than all the peers on this route. Uh, a bit more about routing and all this in future videos. But basically, it's a transaction where only I and the receiver and a couple others who were part of this transaction know that it has happened. Uh, and even here with very limited uh, information that is being shared publicly. So it is very much limited in the amount of people who are interacting with this, with this single transaction. And then further, because there are not so many people interested in the exact details of what is happening with this one transaction, we can do many, many more transactions because we don't have to tell anyone and all those don't have to verify. So all these calculation costs that we have with on-chain transactions are no longer there with Lightning Network transactions. So they are extremely fast, actually pretty much as fast as you can sign a digital signatures and send a couple bytes uh, throughout the interwebs. So it's ridiculously fast. And further, it is relatively cheap. Well, today at least, we don't know how this will play out in the future, but the main limiting factor for on-chain uh, capacity is of course the block size. And because this has to be limited in order to preserve the decentralized nature of Bitcoin, uh, this means then that there is a limited supply and a lot of demand. So this will mean on-chain transaction fees are going to increase. Well, with the Lightning Network, we do not have this one megabyte capacity because we no longer use the blockchain in that direct sense for every transaction. Much more importantly is that you have to uh, use liquidity. So there are some opportunity costs of the capital, which are the main reason for the cost of Lightning Network payments. And at least currently, uh, here in early 2019, fees are ridiculously low. And we're talking ridiculously. You can send payments uh, in milliseconds throughout the entire world for a Satoshi in fee, uh, sometimes even for no fee at all. So it is extremely fast, extremely efficient, and very, very cheap. Uh, plus, it comes also here, because we do not share every transaction with everyone, it is much more private. So Lightning Network is also a big benefit on the privacy side, uh, even so much that the receiver does not know whom sent him the money. It can be proven, but he does not ultimately know. So Lightning Network is a win-win-win situation in many regards. It scales the blockchain, it reduces cost, it increases uh, the speed of transactions, and it increases privacy. And that is something that we do not see often. Uh, but well, it is here and it is a well, smart contract, but none of the buzzwordy smart contract, but actually a smart contract that works and that is useful. 
Uh, so the Lightning Network is something fascinating to behold. And in the future, we're going to talk now much more about this beautiful, beautiful technology. Pierce, thank you very much for joining me here today. Uh, if you like the show, leave a like and subscribe to the World Crypto Network. If you want to support me here, thank you very much. And you can go to tallyco.in slash Max. And there's a little thank you. Uh, all the subscribers, uh, all those that uh, buy the monthly perks uh, can then uh, get early access to all these shows that I'm here pre-recording about the Lightning Network. So, Pierce, thank you very much and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.